Saturday night. Welcome aboard uh, Murder Hobo Inc. The One Shot Edition. If you've been here before, thank you for rejoining us. If this is your first Saturday time, night, welcome oh, aboard oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think the producer's microphone's hot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, anywhere. Uh, anyway, we're a professional outfit, folks. We, we know what we're doing because you can actually follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, you can even, if you don't want to see the money makers here, uh, you can uh, hit our podcast over on Podbean and just listen to us instead of watch us. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about D and uh, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like this shirt or this phone case or a duvet cover or a throw pillow or a baby's bib, uh, we sell all that crap uh, because we're just uh, baseless corporate whores anymore, I guess, uh, which is okay, you know. No offense to the corporate whores of the world. Uh, also, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. If you want some custom dice, hit them up over on Twitter, at Twitter, uh, at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, it's just my presentation tonight, uh, try some Adventure Sense because they'll make any game smell uh, way better. And if you want to learn how to write much more gooder than me, they have the Shine <laughs> system as well. Check them out at oddfishgames.com and lest i be remiss uh we're doing a little uh soiree a little uh thingy a little uh get together a little uh meet if you will called murderhobocon.com august 1st it's hey, a what? sunday you know it's 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 the first weekend in august so a it's going to be blistering hot if anybody in the West Coast survives the summer, and uh, B, it's it's a Sunday, so you know what else do you got? Uh, it's a charity convention, so after we pay all the bills, which surprisingly uh, I'm only at two hundred bucks right now, so uh, we're running the con on the cheap. Uh, after we pay off all the bills. All the money goes to uh, Cancer Research, the American Cancer Society, because I don't want the IRS uh, hounding my ass. So, Where are your friends for charity? What could go yeah, wrong? Exactly. Uh, so check it out, murderhobocon.com. Currently, uh, you can get your badge. You just can't sign up for stuff. If you're a DM, a GM, you want to put on a seminar or a panel, uh, we're taking those over on Tabletop. Go to murderhobocon.com. Check it out. Like I said, tonight is a one shot, and yes, uh, it's my mic. Uh, it's it's not your ears or your sound <laughs> card. It's my mic, uh, folks. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast of irregulars that are going to entertain you for the next uh, two hours or so. We will start with uh, I, I don't want to start with them, but we'll start with Rob. <laughs> Good point. Hey, I'm Rob. You can find me at Cthulhu Rob on Twitter and uh, TikTok, although I'm not really doing anything with that right now. So I'm in the uh, Calamity campaign as Dave and also as Cup when we play the B side. Um, also get into a one shot every once in a while. And mostly like I'm out there punching that con on Twitter. So find me out there. How's your OnlyFans site doing? It's, I you know, I can't get the damn thing up. <laughs> I, yeah, I know that's why I went on the <laughs> boom, boom, uh, Next up is Ian. Ian, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your character. I uh, playing a clum clouder, uh, tabaxi uh, bard, uh, old grizzled actor washed up uh, without that much of a career left in theater. So, what's better than going on some adventure for some loot? Uh, dressing currently like Claudius from Hamlet's. Uh, with uh, all the makeup of Gertrude, so nice. Do you have a wooden sword or a real one? Uh, why don't you come within my blood circle and find out? Nice, <laughs> Jeff. You're up next. Same question, different answers. Hey, I'm Jeff. Uh, I am playing a Tabaxi warlock who's kind of a spy smuggler and likes shiny things. Do tell. <laughs> <laughs> That, that should make for an interesting uh, moment in time. Last but certainly not least, David. Hey, how's it going, folks? I am David. You can find me usually on uh, BTR on Tuesdays, but I play in the Calamity campaign. 
uh, A side and B side. I play Ingve and Crow, and also on Cacophony. Uh, that is our every other Thursday show. And um, yeah, tonight I will be playing Calcifer. He he is a Tavaxi Genasi. So one parent was a Genasi, so he's got the Genasi racial traits. Druid of the Circle of Wildfire. So should be a hot time, folks. <laughs> I love your Miyazaki reference, I have to say that. Exactly. A lot of losers, a lot of losers tonight, folks. I, I'm thinking maybe right. we get done an hour 20, hour 20. Probably hour. early. <laughs> now, remember, if you want to be on a one shot uh, or you want to be on our Tuesday talk show, hit us up, mhobo inc, Twitter or Gmail. Next Saturday, I have to double check, uh, but we might be foregoing the Calamity campaign in lieu of a special one shot put on by one of our Sunday members. So I have to double check the calendar. Uh, today has been skittish and the microphone doesn't help at all because Ian has decided to crush my uh, personal happiness and tell me I sound like Peter Brady. But uh, these, <laughs> <Not> guys, <laughs> these guys are headed to the Thanes Tower to go ahead and seek out some work. Uh, they realize uh it's not going to happen today maybe it'll happen tomorrow so they're going to go ahead and set up camp uh in green room we went ahead and rolled these guys are looking for firewood shelter uh some food uh calcifer uh was the lucky uh individual uh he obtained a long hair as in rabbit uh, and in doing so found the crumbling remains of an old wooden door set in the side of the hills uh clearly uh this place uh has treasure i mean it's probably got staff of the magi or something really cool in there uh <laughs> calcifer do you let your associates know or you just blow it off and say screw it we'll see what the thanes tower has for us i let my associates know as i fricassee peter cottontail over here because i am a cook so Okay, Emerald. Uh, okay, the uh, the cat is out of the bag. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do with this newfound information? Not all. Yeah, over dinner, I kind of discuss. You know, tell them what I found. Tell them the wooden doors. You know, it's got to be a dungeon. We got to go. You gotta go. Yeah, the curiosity is killing me. So, uh, you I know sympathize. what? Let's see how good a cookie is. Everybody, roll Constitution check. <laughs> let's let's see if you enjoyed his meal. Eleven. Oh wait, uh, no, I have 14. eleven as well. Fourteen. I forgot. I have a Constitution. Eleven. Fourteen. Sixteen. 16. Uh, okay. Lucky Charms likes it. Uh, Calcifer, did you uh, like it? Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's a given, but a chef you never like tells. Oh, no, now you know, you could have an ego issue. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like this isn't my best work. <laughs> I'm going to go with hair. Don't you know that like juniper would be much better? Yeah, I know. I thought it's about the, that. I thought it's about the berries. That. The berries just did not do the trick. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Calcifer is, is not a stupid individual. He knows exactly where he saw this entryway. Uh, as you guys are led over to it, it's a nice green hillside covered in heavy vegetation, hopefully not poison ivy. Uh, and you can look into where the shambles of a door once stood and you see flagstone, not brick. Uh, the flagstone descends uh, not at a sharp angle, but at an angle indicating uh, you are going down, down, down below into said dungeon. Uh, who wants to pass through the fractured doors first? Who wants uh, to check the door I'll, for traps first? Well, while you check it for traps, I'd like to uh, go through my mental archive to see if this is some site of some heroic or tragic thing that perhaps people have written plays on. Arcana check. What about history? Well, I guess Arcana is better. I'll take yeah, that. I, I, 19. 19. Uh, or 18 uh, for history. 
you know that this area was replete with crypts of uh, not Stone Age guys, but uh, late late history guys. Uh, normally they had jewels. So clearly theater has paid off. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, well, while you're searching for, while you're continuing searching for traps, I will start uh, mortifying the area by regaling you with long droning uh, scenes of scenes that involve skeletons and jewels and grave robbing. Every, everybody, pers- well, first off, uh, who's checking the door? There, I am. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I got a 14 plus 418. Uh, no, then look at you see a seat. You blah, blah, blah. It's easy for me to say. You see a stray nail, so you urge caution. It might be rickety, but it looks okay. Oh, Who wants to enter first? Well, I could illuminate our way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give off flame. So. <laughs> So you're a fire genasi? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Fire genasi. Did he say fuck? <laughs> uh, as you stand there and uh, emolliate yourself, the vegetation starts to smoke because it is green. Somewhere Native Americans are picking up your smoke signals. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. So I try to steer clear of the foliage as best as I could, I guess. <laughs> well, who wants to go in first and or D? Okay. Uh, if you have dark vision, it's hosed from uh, Flame Boy there. Fortunately, Tabaxi you don't have any I, daylight issues either. So I I can snuff it out. So, and yeah. I, I don't care. Uh, I'll do Mist, that then. <laughs> Mist, give me a straight up D20. Uh, thirteen. Yeah, you you know that there's a freaking rusty nail there. You don't want tetanus, so you uh, dip in there. You notice the flagstone uh, is you know on a slope, uh, a gradual grade actually. Dry. Uh, currently uh, dry. However, give me a perception check. Ooh, I like that. Uh, that's uh, a <laughs> great. That's a thirteen. <laughs> Uh, dry. Good thing I'm proficient. <laughs> Who's second? I'll be second. Straight 20? Four. Yeah, you got nicked with the nail. One hit point. Go ahead and give me a con check. Uh-oh. <coughs> All right. Tetanus. 15. 15. Uh, you probably are not going to get locked jaw. <laughs> so, you know, for a bard, that would be uh, the death That would be a you. shame. <laughs> uh, lucky Charms or Calcifer? Who wants to go in third? I'll go in third. Straight up D20? 18. Yeah, you pass by. Uh, fine. Uh, let's step back one to Clem. Clem, give me a perception check. 19. Uh, as you check for blood dripping down, you notice that uh, although the floor is dry, there is a single mud footprint uh, in the flagstone. Single one? Single uh, one. I'll, I will inspect to see what the general size of this character. Uh, Lucky Charms, uh, give me a perception check to make sure that you didn't notice Clem stopping to tie his shoes. I did not. Four. Four, up and over, you roll. Mist, give me a dex check to make sure you don't get bowled over, you freaking heroes. Uh, 23. 23. Uh, like reflexes. That's right. Uh, he just uh, into the roof. Uh, after, a, after a short jump, uh, Lucky, uh, you bolt back up to your feet. Quick look around to make sure nobody's seen you and everybody's doing this. So, uh, no surprises. Uh, Calcifer, you're the last one. Give me your straight up D20. Make sure you can avoid the nail. Uh, 17. Yep, you avoid the nail. Give me a perception check. Uh, Perception. Okay. Uh, uh, That will be a big 15. 
Uh, you notice Clem's got that ass going on. Uh, <laughs> he is currently hunched over, so you cannot see the muddy footprint. You did, however, watch as Lucky Charms uh, tripped over him, uh, but immediately righted himself. So I now have Lucky Charms in the lead, missed in second. Clem, you have decided that this is a humanoid size figure, possibly five to six feet tall, uh, with a slight limp, uh, possibly wearing dungarees and a boot with a splinter in it. Or you just realize that it's probably a human boot. Uh, so, Calcifer, you are still in the rear. Clem, do you want to share the information you have discovered or say, fuck it, it's not worth it? That'd be you, Ian. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you said Calcifer. Uh, so, wait, how large is this muddy boot print? Eh, about a size 10. Uh, well, I'll just say that someone has come before us, uh, but there's only one tread here, so... Either they took off the boots after this, or we have a one-legged person that's floating in air. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking one-legged person. <laughs> uh, Lucky Charms, you're in the lead. Uh, do you want to continue down the uh, slope? I think I'm going to let Mist uh, take the lead. As Mist passes by you, you notice that uh, he already has his bow out and an arrow knocked. Uh, Mist, you continue down the slope for about... 30 feet, uh, still a gentle grade, not that big of a deal. Uh, the walls are kind of rough hewn stone, possibly limestone oh, in nature. Uh, no signs of paint flex or inlaid mosaic. It's pretty bland. Uh, October of 2020 was not a good time for me to write. Anyway, as you get 30 <laughs> feet down, you notice that it continues to gently grade it down lower into the hillside or you can take a uh, about a five foot wide side tunnel to the left it is also rough hewn in nature pretty much all of these places are going to be rough and rugged so you may go left or continue down but first give me a perception check but first uh, much better. 18 plus 6, 24. There's rushing water somewhere ahead of you. Does it sound like it's more to the forward or to the, uh, was it left? Uh, left? Most assuredly forward. Well, I say we should take the left channel. Uh, I am inclined to agree. Oh, boy, the water. Lucky? Yeah. Okay, you uh, go. You go left. You go left about twenty-five feet, and you notice that it opens up into a chamber. Uh, not a very nice chamber. Still, again, rough-hewn walls everywhere. Uh, however, uh, as you peek in with your dark vision, you notice two things of interest. One appears to be a downed adventurer, uh, and number two. Uh, appears to be a stone statue, possibly of a wizard. Uh, there's also a closed wooden door that sits five feet away from the corpse and five feet away from the statue in the far corner. Uh, there is a... Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, wizard is not a statue. It is a fractured bas relief of a wizard. Uh, there is also a large crack residing between the legs of the carving, and a foul stench can be uh, noticed uh, from this mm. large crack. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I wonder how fresh this adventure is. Now, yeah. Mist, Mist is the only one that can see this. Ah. Oh. I'm going to... Um, Mist, what cool. stinks? Uh, either someone's dead or the Mist. gas is bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. The rabbit's back. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, stealthily move over toward the adventurer. Okay. Uh, well, you notice there's some mud on one of his boots, but he does have two feet. So, ah, uh, I'll 
It appears as though he has a broken mace, some damaged leather armor, and a soiled cloak. Uh, he has a belt on, but as you begin your investigation, lucky I believe you were number two, you may round the corner and also observe the same if you wish to. Or you yeah, can just sure. say, fuck this. He's on his own. <laughs> well, uh, watch him uh, investigate. Uh, Clem, you were number three, D12 against me. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Twelve. Four. Okay, you uh, have not yet rounded the corner. Mist, uh, as you are bent over examining this corpse, uh, you notice a few things. One, uh, he has a belt pouch with several bat utility compartments on it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> and two, uh, the stench is not coming from him. It is coming from the crack in the wall, and you see movement in said crack in the form of two creatures, very narrow, almost uh, Gumby-esque in nature. One steps out and expands. The other one steps out and expands. I will take initiative from you and Lucky for the first round. Oh, 19 plus 4, 23. Uh, 9. 9. Uh, Clem and Calcifer, <laughs> go ahead and give me your rolls. You will be ineligible this round. Okay. Uh, initiative rolls? Okay. Yep. Uh, that'll be 23. I rolled a nat 20. Clem? 19. Fair enough. I suck. I rolled a two. Uh, round one, we begin with Gumby, Gumby v. Lucky Mist. Uh, <coughs> Mist, you have 23. You will go first. Uh, you have never seen these creatures before. You do not know if they are friend or foe. Cool. I'm going to acquire that utility belt. Fair enough. Uh, and, then I, and then I will back up about 20 feet. I don't think so uh, there, Tim. Uh, lucky, you're up. <laughs> all right. When in doubt, we're going to blast them. Oh, all right. <laughs> 15. Uh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, these things are kind of nasty. I found these buried in one of the... Uh, subordinate books. Wow. Uh, Mist, uh, go ahead and give me a, I don't know, a dex, I guess, to see if you That's generous. Off. Uh, that's uh, 17. Yes, you do indeed uh, remove uh, Bruce Wayne's bat belt uh, and have it, uh, but as you begin to step away, one of the Gumbies comes in to attack you, one of the Gumbies comes in to attack Lucky Charms, as luck would have it, Clem, as I am attacking, you walk around the corner and see, oh, shit. So, on miss, a four. I don't even have to do math there. Oh, the first nat 20 of the night goes oh, to shit. Lucky Ow. Charm. Ow. Oh, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> uh, this thing uh, takes its body and begins to move tendrils out and around you and begins to choke the shit out of you and flip you back and forth as you feel razor sharp beak tear into your spine. What the uh, hell is this? Is this like planaria from hell? Like Almost, high school uh, biology? The good Fuck news yeah. is that's a shitty roll. Oh! But a critical hit indicates that the victim cannot talk or breathe until next turn. Oh, lucky! You got four hit points: uh, two from the bludgeoning, two from the piercing, and the tendril is oh, going down your throat. Oh no! Uh, Clem, you walk around the corner, uh, followed quickly by Calcifer, and the oh shit meter goes off. I got uh, Calcifer and Mist starting round two. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I'm gonna use that nifty tabaxi trick and get as far away from it as I can before attacking. 
Good night, Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Calcifer, you are up. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, don't get to attack. Same movement. Oh. You what? I, I move. Do I get to attack? Uh, I have a bow. You're, you're going to be moving be behind Clem and Calcifer, so good luck hitting somebody. Well, you know. There's <laughs> always that possibility. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, wow. Which one are you going to go after? The one that went after you or the one that has Lucky Charms? Because... The one that has Lucky Charms. Fair it's enough. You will 16... roll a disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Because he is choking uh, his shit out of Lucky. Okay, that's a 15 plus 6 is 21. Okay, that hits. And 16 is your magic number to hit these things, by the way. Uh, that's 5 plus uh, 4 is nine. 9 points of piercing from that uh, arrow. It doesn't seem to have much effect on Gumby. Uh, Calcifer, uh, holy Gosh, shit, you've never really seen bad. anything like this. No! Ah! I'm going to try to keep uh, Gumby not, not, ugh, number two out of the, the fray, and I'm going to produce flame and lob it towards him. Uh, again, if you're going after number two, he's got lucky charms pretty much. In, oh, uh, number two has him. Okay, yes. then number one. Then. All right, fair enough. Go ahead. The not engaged one. Uh, let's see. Does an 18 hit? It does. Okay. That is going to burn him for five points of fire. Lucky, damage. look out. That works. <laughs> uh, good news. Uh, Clem, you had the 19, did you not? Yeah, so around the corner, I'm seeing these horrible things, and i also noticing that this is a, a chamber, which means it probably has fantastic acoustics. Uh, so uh, <laughs> in the abject horror of this thing, I'm just going to fall back on my instinct, which is to give long, droning monologues. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I cast sleep, or I start reciting Shakespeare. How many, uh, how many hit points do you do? I do 19. Uh, good news, Lucky. Uh, yours. Yeah, I, I don't have that they're immune to sleep. So yours releases its grip on you. You can feel the scaly uh, foliage tentacle come up out of your mouth. You feel... Ooh, uh, a little bit. Uh, you know what? Give me a constitution save. Let's make sure you don't harp. Hairball, it's going to be hairball. a hairball. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll actually, that would be a four. I rolled oh, a two. That, that is an awesome roll. However, you know that plastic thing that you push down the tub and pull out all the hair? That's oh. pretty much what has just happened. Uh, you are uh, going to harf all over your boots. So oh. we'll, go ahead, we'll go ahead and take a pass on yours, uh, your attack for right now. There is one left. Uh, aside from Lucky and probably Mist, who is running, Clem and Calcifer, you notice that Gumby, damn it, jumps onto the ceiling and begins to run before leaping on odd Clem even calcifer. So my Please. soliloquy did nothing to... Not 19 points. You only got one of them. Uh. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got them both, but you only got the one. Uh, it does not like Shakespeare, and it leaps upon you. Ooh, that is a 16 plus 5, dirty 21. You also are going to get bit and choked, uh, but you uh, can still talk and breathe because it was not a critical hit. Uh, a 1 and a 3. You take 4 damage here, uh, and it is on top of you. So top of the order missed. How far did you run? Because you well, can I, only I, run 10 feet and round the corner. Oh, I, I, I ran to the corner then because I wanted to have a line of sight for my attack, but that puts me far enough away. Okay, um, you and Calcifer are up. I'm going to use my sling and toss a stone instead because the arrow didn't seem all that impactful. Well, he, he had a lot of raisins. 
Uh, it's 22 to hit and shit, it's a D4. Uh, that's six points of damage. Safe to assume that you're Lunging. going after the one on Clem. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, the other Calcifer. one, as far as I know, is dead. True. Calcifer, you're up. Uh, I am going to make a scimitar attack against the, the one going for Clem. Sure. Hopefully, I don't hit Clem. <laughs> that w- that would probably be uh, music to Clem's ears. Yeah, I don't know. Clem just came out yowling, and then the dude fell down. I figured he was dead. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Yowling. Do you also hate Shakespeare? <laughs> Four- <laughs> Fourteen is a swing and a miss. Clem, you have Gumby, damn it, on top of you. What do you want to do? Ah, uh, well, it's a, if a soliloquy did nothing to entertain this. Uh, I shall, I guess, rend it with my claws. But right. I will just very furiously bat at it and hopefully shave off something. Uh, so unarmed, 15 to hit. 15? 15 to hit. It's rubbery hide uh, allows your sharpened talons to do very little. Uh, lucky, d12 against me. Eight. Seven, uh, you have projectile vomited, so there is nothing on your fur. Uh, you turn around, yours is snoring. Uh, Clem uh, has one o- atop of him uh, looking to go for another round. What would you like to do? I think we're going to shoot the one on Clem. Okay. Hopefully we'll not Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh! <laughs> I got no. I got so excited. I missed my table. I missed uh, seven. Okay. Uh, uh, a stone has scattered over your body, Clem. An arrow has gone over your body. <laughs> the whooshing of a blade has gone over your body. Actually, the stone hit. So the stone did Wait, hit. Hit me? No, hit uh, the creature. Okay. Round three. Uh, Mist and calcifer. Uh, you can Don't clearly work. hear the snoring of uh, Gumby number two. <laughs> All right. call him Gumby prone. B-side. He is prone. And I'm using a ranged weapon, so the stone on the other one. Natural 20. And that's 2d4. And that's going to be 4, 5, 6, and 4 is 10 points bludgeoning damage. Uh, you see his skull explode. Splat. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Then you notice the body start to rapidly uh, deteriorate. Uh, Calcifer, there's one left. It is on top of Clem. You are right there. The stone went whizzing past your face as it hit Lucky Charms creature. Uh, What do you want to do? Okay, I am going to make another scimitar attack. Hopefully a little better. Yeah, no, eight. <laughs> uh, Clem, you're getting a you're getting a good breeze, so it's <laughs> keeping the stench off of you. Uh, you're up. Uh, and this thing is still right on, on top me. of you. Yep. Uh, I've seen how this play goes, and I don't like the ending. Uh, looking at this thing, this two dimensional thing. Give it Macbeth. Uh, I I will. I will vicious mockery it. I will belittle its masculinity for not killing the king and for failing to live up to its promise. Uh, so vicious mockery, and uh, it needs. Did you? Is that rolling the dice? The DC. Yep, but uh, do you speak its language? I mean, stagecraft is universal. It's not so much the content; it's the feeling. I'm going to emote as hard He's as. He's going I can. to emote. I, I will. I will rule that you <laughs> successfully transfer space. your emotion from your performance of a lifetime. How much damage uh, do you do to it? One. Oh. <laughs> but uh, so, did it fail or did it pass? It failed. All right. Uh, well, then I hope it feels emasculated, and that means Elise will have disadvantage at its next attack on me. You know, it's uh, pretty much of a shitlord for you to think that it's a man in this case, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, we try and promote an open environment where we can hate everybody, but not because they are a man or a woman. Probably a non-binary hey. plant creature. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I am playing a genderless tabaxi, so. Uh, <laughs> lucky, uh, you've seen a stone just implode your assailant. It is clearly dead. You saw a Calcifer waving his sword like he's fanning an empress. And you <laughs> heard Clem say, I don't, something about a stamen and a pistol of uh, <laughs> unusual size, uh, but... Uh, you aren't really sure. This thing looks like it's ready to just eat his heart out with the spoon. What do you want to do? We're going to try to Eldritch Blast it again. Hopefully, <laughs> better luck. <laughs> oh, yes. 21. That'll hit. Come on. Let's do some damage. Nice. Uh, 14. Chlorophyll splatters against the far wall and begins to drizzle down. Uh, you see a visage of a bearded man uh, postulacizing uh, himself. Uh, you found uh, Tabaxi Jesus on the wall. The <laughs> uh, Clem, your assailant has been blasted off you uh, and is also... Flash Gordon sinking away into the flagstone here. Does it look uh, like the milk of human kindness? Uh, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you would like to try and drink it, I will allow it. I love how much rope you give to hang myself. I'm not, yeah. not going to fall for that one today, Satan. Fair enough. Uh, so you guys are now in a room. Uh, as you look around at each other, you notice Mist has... A utility belt slung over his shoulder because he's a thieving bastardo. Uh, you notice the uh, inlaid image of a wizard uh, and a crack where these two things of who the hell knows what they are came out of. Uh, it and briefly oh, produces his business card, which is just a piece of wood that says rogue. <laughs> and, away. and there is a wooden door. Topically, I have to examine this figure with the utility belt just to see if there's cat hair near the mouth. Okay, no one's catching that reference. Moving on. I, I did. I was just like <laughs> amazed. I missed that. I, I, I missed it. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll, they'll make my. I'll just go back and get my social security cookies. Yeah. <laughs> now we're, uh, you know, uh, some jokes fly and some do not. Uh, it's like when I deal with the huge. Ian's just like, oh. <laughs> uh, David okay. got it. That's all that matters. There you go. Uh, so, what do you guys want to do? Um, uh, open the door. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, how long has this person been dead? Is this the desiccated corpse or is it fresh? No, pretty fresh. Uh, it's a couple hours. Couple hours. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, so, I mean, that means that anything that's in here is going to be aware of us. Um, and if they haven't already heard uh, the rousing speeches I've given, then definitely our blundering feet have will alert to our presence. So let us tread carefully. Uh, you open the door, Mist? Not with you three around. Well, I'm going to check it for traps first. Sure, go ahead. Not silly. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 23. 19 plus 4. No traps. It's going to stick, though. It's going to require a strength check. Okay. Good advantage if I use my crowbar. Oh, uh, sure. Good. Uh, 17 work. Yeah, that opens. Okay, you kind of give it the old shoulder nudge and uh, pop okay. it open. Uh, beyond lies a tunnel of about 30 feet, and it takes a sharp right. Um, I'll move up to the uh, sharp right and look around the corner like this. Uh, it's a long hallway with uh, egress on the left, a door on the right, and then it's so far down you can't really tell what happens at the end of this tunnel. And that's how Lucky Charms dies. So, you know. <laughs> no, I had my headset on. I just remuted. I was having to yell at dogs. Wireless. Oh. Damn. Wow, you know, you're really, you're really all in on this Tabaxi RP. I got, I got to hand it to you there. 
Uh, so uh, you guys are, well, missed again is looking around the corner. Uh, I'll go ahead. I'll just kind of arm myself with my rapier, my dagger, my offhand, and uh, I'll follow behind. Uh, there we go. All right. All right. I'll listen down the hallway to hear if anything in the far distance. Sure. Uh, nine. Nope. Looks like ten. Nope. Still nothing. Not on this side. Had you gone right, perhaps you would have heard something. Uh, Mist, are you forging ahead? Well, you said there was a door up there? Yes, there is. Is the door before or after? You said there was a, an opening on one side and then there's a door. Just after it. The door is just after the opening? So it's like that. Okay, I'm going to like check. opening. I'm going to check that opening first since it don't have blocking between me and the other thing. You cannot, because there seems to be a large uh, crevasse in your way. It appears as though you are going to have to make a leap of faith over to the other side. I can or just climb can... along the wall. Uh, I can only move 20 feet that way, but you know. Sure, you can do that. Uh, this tunnel is brick, by the way, and it is fractured and sunken at this location. Uh, there is the chasm in front of you. Uh, and the gap is about four feet across, so it is conceivable that a well-timed jump would result in safe passage. But if you no, let me just jump wall, it if it's only like four or five feet across. Sure. Uh, straight roll of uh, sixteen. Uh, yes, you leap over to the other side with a flourish, and um, then I'll check the opening. Uh, it goes, uh, the crevasse cuts across it. You're going to have to make another leap to see what happens if you want to continue to explore it. 13? Well, plus four on my decks. 17, I guess. You almost, uh, fall into the chasm. Oh, shit. Uh, but you come to the other side, and with your dark vision, you see that the tunnel extends for about 20 feet, and it is a site of a cave-in. Clem, Lucky, Dang. Calcifer, Dang. back Dang. on the other side Dang. of the chasm. D12, please. Digging, digging. Nope, nope, nope. Digging. Uh, three. <laughs> I got three as well. Uh, Lucky, Calcifer, you're pretty sure you heard a noise from uh, the room that you were just in. Clem, you're pretty sure you heard a noise up ahead where, Cle or where Mist is at. Uh, I'm going to this shout to Miss. Like I think I hear something by you. I will come and I will save you. And I will start to cat crawl. Like I'm not going to make the jump. I just don't feel like it's a good idea. So I sure. will claw on the walls. Okay, straight up D20 roll. Thirteen. Yeah, sure. Uh, you climb over the crevasse. You notice the hulking figure of Mist. Down the short hallway on the other side of yet another crevasse. Uh, Lucky Calcifer, what are you guys doing? Um, uh, well, I'm alerted to. <laughs> I uh, I am disturbed that we heard something behind us, <laughs> and that has piqued my curiosity. But I'm not going to go check by myself or anything like that. I am just going to inform the others of I've heard something back there, guys. <laughs> Uh, you turn around and you notice that Clem has already taken his leave of you. Ah, okay. Uh, but Lucky, not you heard in that. agreement. Yeah, you heard that too. Uh, yes, yes, I did. So, um, so what say you? I don't want to be left here alone. Should we? Should we join the others in the fray? Yeah, let's join the others, but then keep Locked an eye. Then. <laughs> <laughs> keep an eye on them uh, okay. what's coming do you two want to make the leap of faith or do the hand over hand crawl um calcifer uh he's got genasi features he's not uh a true tabaxi so he doesn't have their their cat-like abilities i thought that would have been too overpowered to have both so i Either oh, I, I, I would have made the walls smooth for all you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
or I could, um, I will inform everybody that can hear or inform Lucky that, uh, yeah, I am going to change into a big kitty and try to leap across. So i um, going to wild shape into a panther. Sure. Uh, Lucas, go, mom? Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead make your fiery athletic. mom. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me pull up the panther the stats. The ginger panther. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, let's see. A ginger panther? I got a 40-foot... Uh, yeah, okay. So what am I rolling, Frank? Athletics. Athletics, okay. Alrighty. Well, in Coast. wild wild shape, what would that be? I don't have an athletics thing. What's your roll? Uh, just roll? Yeah. Uh, a 10. So my dexterity is uh, 15. So I don't know. Plus two? Mm-hmm. Uh, George of the Jungle does not time his jump <laughs> correctly. I'm like and that cat in a YouTube video. <laughs> Hang in there, cat. Uh, you batter your face, but you are close enough to hang on. So let's give you a little bit of bludgeoning damage. Three hit points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, Lucky, so much. Uh, you watch uh, Captain Courageous there botch the jump. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I think he, we're going to use like our claws and we're going to climb over. Yeah, I should have. I, I got a climb speed as a panther, so I should have climbed. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have come in handy. Uh, lucky, give me a d20 roll. Oh, yeah, no problem. 18. Hand over hand he goes. You land next to Clem. Clem, you look down, and you aren't really sure where this fucking panther came from. Uh, but you know what? You're kind of thinking you should step on its paws, man. <laughs> Scar! <laughs> or, or just lean over and dangle some spittle. Oh, no. See as it drips down. Uh, Clem, what do you want to do with the uh, advent of... I'm going to bat at it like uh, a string. <laughs> I, just because I'm dressed like Claudius doesn't mean I'm going to pull a scar. So I will... Uh, I'll a two, help. Claudius? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will help Calcifer out. Okay. okay. Um, uh, Straight but I will admire uh, the very sleek panther body the entire time that I'm helping him up. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Strength check, Clem. <laughs> the backs are not very strong, evidently. Yeah. Give me the uh, paw. I will no give you the I going to pull a scar. Uh, I just rolled one. Come on. Oh, oh, no. I think you pulled a scar. Uh, <laughs> he just pulled a scar. <laughs> Uh, Calcifer. Uh, Long live the king. Clem, Clem has uh, graciously extended a paw, but his clumsiness has put his other paw squarely oh, on oh. your paw. Uh, take three more bludgeoning damage and give me another dex check. Okay. Oh, man. Or plunge to your death. <laughs> I am sorry, Callie. That is not what I meant to do. That's okay. Natural 20. Uh, you managed to hang on. Uh, so you use your climb speed to get up. Yeah, I'm going to use like my climb reversal. speed to get up. <laughs> sure, give me a straight up d20. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, with your fractured paw, you managed to <laughs> climb back up and over the edge. Uh, Misk, you are on the other side of the dead end. Are you ready to make a leap of faith or you want to try and climb? Or do you want to ask Clem to give you a hand? Yeah, ask Clem to give you a hand. <laughs> no, I think I'll just jump. <laughs> oh, that's a 19 straight up. Oh, there you go. Uh, you leap in just as Calcifer gets over to the correct side and begins to waver at your sudden appearance. You four are all on the other side of the crevasse. Uh, just ahead is a wooden door rounded at the top or you may continue deeper into the flagstone passage well, now that now that we're on the overside we've made the pass um could i try to listen to hear what that sound is to the front of us or at least sure. the one that's near mist most of it is going to be <gasps> <laughs> i have no idea why that could be 13 uh now you don't hear it 
Uh, what well, about behind us? Do we see anything? Uh, that was... so we should probably be on guard. Um, I'm just going to look up at the ceiling. I'll just have just make sure there's sure. Uh, limestone cave, irregular ceiling. Uh, you do not detect any creepy crawlies uh, what uh, attempted to assault you earlier. Uh, so that's a good thing. Lucky, you turn around, look around. No, you're hoping that the crevasse will uh, protect you, much like Calcifer. Door? And Mist, you are completely clueless as to the shenanigans that your associates have been up to. <laughs> uh, and you report that there's a, there's dead a cave in that way. Yeah. Okay. Door? Door. 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 <laughs> Door. Uh, 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 that's uh, uh, it'll be a uh, 17 for checking for traps, etc. No okay, I yeah. attempt to open the door then. The door grudgingly gives in the sparse illumination that you have, i.e. dark vision, reveals a rectangular room beyond. A short hallway leads to the chamber and flecks of paint uh, curl upon the walls to your left and to your right. Uh, indicating that clearly there were murals of some kind here. A few steps in reveals a broken bed on the back left corner and a wall caved in on the back right. Uh, a slight ticking noise is heard in the dirty room by all four of you once you enter the short chute. So inside the door, narrow five foot hallway, Uno by Uno opens up into a bigger room. Is heard. There is nothing ominous about this place. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. It's probably a clock. I uh, know it's definitely. It definitely has to be a heart in the floorboards. Um, That's what I'm thinking. So mm-hmm. I'm going to have a dagger in each hand, and then I'm going to scoot through and break right. And immediately like fold into the shadows along the wall clown paw crusher clowder are you second or is lucky charms back in second place unless you want it lucky i'll i'll tumble on in and i'm going to try to find the sound of that ticking okay uh, lucky, for, sorry. go ahead 18 for 18 for just perception to see if there's a localized area the bed <laughs> the bed uh, uh lucky you are number three uh mist has broken right yeah um by the way my stealth check gives me a 25 uh it doesn't matter (laughs) this thing knows you're in there (laughs) that's all right i mean the empty room doesn't care that you're i was about to say thanks frank (laughs) but now my party has no idea where i am (laughs) i'm gonna back up some uh kind of out of that five foot uh uh Sure, yeah. split the party. So you uh, make yourself shallow and say, uh, go ahead there, Ginger Panther. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a, a brief uh, use of uh, keen smell and try to do a perception check to see if I smell anything. Sure. Okay, just roll. Uh... Okay. Uh... Are you still in cougar form? Yeah, I'm still a cougar. <laughs> uh, that would be a 15. Uh, you smell mold, mildew. The pool boy better watch out. You're pretty sure that uh, <laughs> that uh, somebody uh, probably crapped themselves already. Uh, inside the room, Mist and Clem, go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, Lucky and Calcifer, you can also roll but are ineligible this oh, round. Not I really 20, wish... Again. That's two for me. <laughs> 20. 16. Uh, 20. Four. Oh. Oh. Seven. Jinx. Clem, there's more than 20 on Clem's... 23. 23? Oh, yeah, 14. Mine, mine's a nap. <laughs> uh, uh, lucky. Seven. Uh, nap 20. Who do I want to go after? Uh... Mist was first in. Odd. Uh, Clem second. Even. Clem, it is not your night. <laughs> uh, you see white, a white stream of substance 
come shooting out from underneath the bed. Oh. That's the opposite of what usually happens. <laughs> Not twenty, number three. <laughs> Jeez, Frank. <laughs> the root beer die is killing. I it. knew it. Uh, He's using well, pirate dog dice, folks. You are splattered with some kind of silky nylonish substance and are webbed to the wall that you were standing against. Huh. Uh, give me a strength save uh, to break free. Uh, 11, but I'd also like to point out the fact that I have claws if that does any assist. 11 is actually what you need. So this white uh. spongy substance that has adhered you to the wall uh, has no effect uh, damage-wise. And you quickly grew yourself enough to break free. So let's start rolling dice. Clem, uh, the white stuff had no effect on you. Go ahead. Uh, a large blanchy spider appears out from underneath the bed. Oh, that makes it easier. Uh, well, of course, naturally, whenever there's a spider, you know, like with, with cats, they hear pupils of uh, so I will instantly start doing that. Uh, the obligatory wiggling of one's rump, and then I will lunge forward with rapier and dagger. Go uh, get him, Frodo. <laughs> of course, uh, rapier is in that one, and then uh, <laughs> so uh, privy. This is what happens when you use uh, dice from Wish. I'll have you know, you should use the pirate dog dice. <laughs> uh, you won't have this problem. Uh, and so then Dagger, uh, well, is 22. So I am holding it. <laughs> so Clem, his hand covered in white viscous fluid, sends his rapier up and over onto the bed, uh, but buries the dagger deep into this blanchy creature. How much damage did you do? Four. That's, that ain't nothing. It squeals in pain uh, to end round one missed. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm going to shoot that arrow. Yeah, I know he's right there, but that's how I do. Uh, <clears throat> that's a 20 freaking three to hit and it's D6 plus four, five, four. That's uh, nine points of piercing damage. Very nice. Lucky Calcifer, as you two are like, oh, no, you may go. Oh, no, you may go. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> You hear a loud splat followed by, ah, ka-ting, 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 and a, uh, so clearly there is combat ahead. Uh, you may charge forward or retreat further, leaving those <laughs> two idiots behind. Uh, uh, round two begins, uh, odd even again. Uh, odd this time, I take offense at the arrow and I skitter towards mist. Uh, I have one attack. 15 plus 4, 19 miss. Ow. Ow. The bite connects through your armor. Give me a con save. I knew you were going to ask that. Uh, that's a 15 plus 3, 18. That is more than enough. Ooh. Big bite damage, though. Six damage. Ouch. Uh, cuts in. Uh, Clem, good news. Uh, the creature is distracted partially. If you'd like to uh, do a barrel leap, a Jackie Chan onto the bed, you may retrieve your rapier this round, or you may continue to. It, is it not at it. like attached by like threads that I could pull it back to me? I'm just. Okay. Now, the, the edder cap shoots uh, Spider Man. Ah, now we know what it is. It is an edder cap. Okay. Spider cap. Spider cap. That's uh, kind of what I figured, but uh, I don't think Miss knows what one is. In, in what condition? Like, how battered does it look from its initial wounds? Uh, it's fine. Still full of piss and vinegar? Oh, yeah. Um, 
You know what? I will uh, vicious mockery while I am going to retrieve my rapier. Uh, I'll definitely say that it's a shoot excuse for a sorry a shoot excuse for a spider, and it needs to reconsider its career choices. Your mother had <laughs> six legs, you even as bitch. Uh, <laughs> but uh, with a seventeen and not even adding anything else, I think I brush it off like you did your rapier. Oh, <laughs> too soon. The DM would use vicious mockery. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, missed. Uh, you got you got hurt. <laughs> Ow. Ouch. Yeah. So I have to use a melee weapon now because that's where I'm at. So um, short sword, I guess. Close range. What the fuck ever. No kind of tank me. Uh, 15 plus, what is it? Oh, it's hit. plus four, so 19. Yep. Um, na, 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 na. Ooh, six. Thank you, Murder Hobo Dice. Uh, plus four is 10 points. Slashing damage. Ooh. Nicely done. Uh, 14. That'll be Calcifer. You're up. I am going to pounce <laughs> on the adder cap. So what, roll a d20 to hit, Dex? Yep. Okay. Dex is the modifier. Uh, bu- 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 14. Uh, yes, you jump on top of it. Yeehaw, motherfucker. <laughs> it is going to have to do oh, a DC uh, strength save of 12, at least. 16 on the roll, add two, 18. Okay, so it is not not prone. Uh, I will bonus action, take a bite. Okay. All right. Uh, roll to hit it. Uh, no, not with a five. Uh, no, it's a bucking bronco at this point in time. Lucky charms, uh, your associate has charged into melee and has leaped upon the back of this large, blanchy, spider-looking thing. Uh, it is general melee as Mist is uh, meekly swinging a sword, but has buried it deep within. Uh, Clem is still hanging in there as well. What would you like just, to do? Just give and I can see that from where I'm at. Yep, because it's a street hallway, and now everybody's right. in the middle of the fight. I love it. I'm going to stay where I am. And, uh... <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> say the magic words. Eldritch Blast. Uh, <laughs> Just as long as what, it doesn't say one. <laughs> one charms, skip shoots, going low, and ricochets it off the flagstone, striking the Eddard cap. I'm oh, no, damage. no. Oh, okay. Uh, let's roll. Five plus five, ten. I assume you didn't want to aim high. Eh. <laughs> new new round. Am I gonna web it oh, or shit. am I gonna cap. bite it? Uh, I got four. Sorry, missed. I'm gonna try and get you again, cause me like you missed. Do worse. Ah uh, no, uh, unless a twelve <gasps> gets you. Not even. Uh, Clem, you're up. All right. Uh, so now that I have rapier in hand, uh, I'm going to. Try to make a full attack, so I will also leap at it and hack and or slash. Ah, wow, rapier thirteen and uh, dagger is a twenty-one. Both hit. Something went right for once. Yeah, I will take it. I was hoping for a one so you could uh, stab Calcifer in the anus. I actually oh, was very afraid of that. Ah. You rolled First a lie. I uh, rolled almost minimum damage. Uh, so altogether, that's seven, eight. Eight? Eight. Yeah, you're right. Eight. That's minimum damage. Uh, 16, missed. This thing's uh, uh, kind of wobbly on its leg. And he's engaged with two of my allies. Mm-hmm. I'll have my advantage this time. Actually, he's engaged with you. Your allies have engaged with him because he attacked you last time. Oh, okay. Either way. Uh, 19 to hit total, and that's not the greatest. Uh, 2 plus 4, <coughs> 6 points more slashing damage. <laughs> so close. 
uh, it wobbles, it teeters, it totters. Calcifer, can you end this miserable creature? Somebody life? hit this thing. Boom, baby! Oh, fuck. Roll, roll a D4. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Mondays. Ew. Clem, uh, you see Calcifer's blade draw back to hit it, and it gets you in the shoulder for how much damage? Well, that would have been a claw, so two damage. Clem, uh, a claw reaches back to kill, to do the kill strike, but catches on your armor and lurches you forward. Give me a deck save. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Disappointed, yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> 19. Unfortunately, you are not pulled up onto its back. Lucky, this thing is on literally, literally on its last leg. So much so that Calcifer decided to attack Clem instead. 17 plus. There bonus. you go. That's, there we that's go. Gonna crush it. Seven. Uh, it is dead. It falls and all 22 of its eyes roll. <laughs> uh, Calcifer slides off it like, I don't know, uh, any disapproving glare from Clem. Follows. Yeah, I, uh, I'll drop my <laughs> wild shape and cast Healing Word. <laughs> Candy act. I mean, oh. really, Calcifer, I mean, this makes us even. Uh, I, I'm trying, you know. No, no, no. I meant, you know, I'm sorry about crushing your paw earlier. <laughs> what, what um, everybody's going to take uh, six points of healings for. Oh, lovely. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Uh, this clearly was some kind of old bedroom. The uh, ticking noise is still coming from underneath the bed. Miss, do you want no, to talk about it? Should I go under there? I'll go under there and search check out what the hell's going on <clears throat> as you get under there you find old drawings clearly from a juvenile uh they have a uh decidedly bardic kind of theme to it and as you get to the farthest corner underneath the bed you find a wooden block with a metal arm and a ball on the end it is a oh. metronome. I'm totally fascinated because I've never seen one before. <laughs> yeah, we're we're cats, so we're just like. <laughs> well, certainly Clem will have seen one of these. Before. I'll pull my I'll pull myself yeah, back up from other and go look, magic. <laughs> <laughs> you know like, when, oh. when it stops, a bomb goes off. Cut the red wire. <laughs> All right, MacGyver. <laughs> uh, anything else under there? It will not. Yeah, you got lucky because you almost got stuck to that wall. <laughs> uh, okay, it doesn't appear as though there's anything else of value or not of value in this chamber. There are no other exits unless you want to paw through the Debris uh, in the right corner, which appears to be a cave-in. Seems like a waste of time. I hate digging. <laughs> Well, Jeff, this is number three for you, isn't it? It is. There it is. Oh, One of us, baby. Swag. Swag. One of us. <clears throat> uh, maybe, maybe I'll get that cool uh, oatmeal dye that uh, rolls 20s. <laughs> uh, at time three, we just send an editor cap to your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? Hang out in this room? or return? No, there's that whole hallway to explore. Uh, it's all the, <coughs> no one's investigated the debris, as it were. Correct. I will look through said debris. Surely there must be something of worth here. Something to tell us about the goings on in this place. D12 against me. 11. Um, ah. I will do a wellness check on everybody. Is anybody else still missing hit points? Look, HR, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Governor, this is England. We don't have health and human services. Uh, <laughs> does anybody else need additional healing? 
Didn't he say? <laughs> didn't he say you gave everybody six points? Mm-hmm. Yep, six points. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're good. That, Everybody's that was exactly good. Exactly what I needed. Okay. Just making sure because I have muffins. The, the second bite missed. So. Good berry muffins. Get it. Ah, uh, gotcha. I hate good berries. Uh, okay, so um, no, the the Debris is just that. Okay. Good news is you didn't roll so shitty that it didn't collapse more on you. Good. All right. Uh, okay. it, you may continue to play debris Jenga if you'd like. I have no qualms about that. Mm, debris Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back out into the hallway. Yeah, yeah. He said uh, that metronome thing was a bomb, so I'm leaving it there. Nice. I mean, only when it stops. <laughs> I want to be far away from it when it stops. Uh, as you go out, you see the crevasse to your left, uh, the longer elongated hallway to your right. You head that way, I assume. Uh, Taking right. Clem yep. or Lucky or Calcifer, who's number two? Um, I'll, I'll I'll follow second if oh. if that's okay. <clears throat> Third, unless, unless lucky you, you lucky. lucky you bring it up the rear. Yeah, I'll bring up the rear. Give me a per, or perception check, please. Oh, wait, did I say the rear? I mean uh, next to the rear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fourteen. Yeah, sounds like a scuffing noise behind you. Uh oh. <laughs> I I say, hey, I, I think there's a a noise coming from b- back here. Does so it seem like it? There. Does it seem further than uh, the uh, the little place we jumped? Yes, because you cannot see anything with your dark vision, so it has to be beyond the crevice. Oh, okay. All right. I guess let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, so I was gonna say maybe we should barricade the door that we came through so something doesn't scuffle into this. That would have been an awesome idea. <laughs> we have to jump back across the crevice and go all the way back down to do that. No, I don't think so. No, no, oh, no, no. I, I didn't want to I, I didn't want to shout it earlier. I was just too busy stepping on Calcif earlier. So all right. <laughs> well now you do have the crevice as a natural barrier, assuming that there aren't tabaxi spiders or other creatures that can crawl and or fly. Uh, Mist, as you get to the end of this hallway, you notice that it hangs a right. Uh, it goes about 30 feet where it pierced to dead end with a door on the left. Another door. Another day, another door. Another door. I'm going to munchkin that shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Go down there and open that fucking door. Fuck looking for traps this time. We're yeah, on it. Screw it. Uh, <laughs> Mist, you open the door and a set of stairs greets you going up about 10 feet. I stand around waiting for them to come along. <clears throat> uh, I'll follow. <laughs> Uh, everybody follows. They're standing in line, you know. And we'll go up them stairs. What the fuck? Yeah. In the words of Samuel L. Jackson, poet laureate, tick tock, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll, I'll be checking along my I way. <laughs> uh, as you climb gingerly up the stairs, you notice a stench. Uh, and uh, everybody roll perception. Is it a familiar stench? Oh, fuck. Death. What a waste. Okay, 26. Like 23. 20. 19. 19. Uh, y'all hear a uh, sound of Russian water. Not Which, Bulgarian I, water. I was about to Russian say. water. <laughs> Ooh. Then I, I get out get, my water skin just in case. I, you know, I've got to get that uh, shitty accent going again. Oh, uh, but it, 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 it sounds like it's off in the distance. I don't know about you guys. I hate getting wet. Um, let's try to hate it. steer clear. Uh, Mist, as you uh, climb to the top of the stairs, uh, you notice you are in an elongated uh, hallway that goes to the right. 
a careful glance shows that it branches off to the left, goes uh, straight ahead for a while uh, to a set of stone stairs. Adorning the walls are uh, not quite completely intact murals showing life probably two to three centuries ago. Uh, even though you guys hear the water, it doesn't appear as though uh, there's been much damage to these painted murals. Uh, everybody perception check again. Uh, 17. Six. 19 plus 25. Um, Great. 15. I'm not going to get these rolls in combat. No. <clears throat> Miss Lucky and Calcifer, you hear... Very faint noise, uh, a, a pitter patter, possibly juveniles. Uh, Clem, you don't hear bugs. shit. Might be bugs. <laughs> I call forth the ant army. <laughs> uh, Mist, you are in the lead. Uh, this hallway goes uh, a little bit wider, ten feet, so you guys can start. Uh, oh, much wider. Well. Oh, much, much better, nice. yeah. That's two uh, targets in front of that Eldritch Blast that are there <laughs> between it and the enemy. Right. So uh, Maybe I can bounce off of them. Missed, and who was second? Uh, Calcifer. Calcifer, yeah. uh, you two can walk side by side, singing a song, hand in hand. Oh, I gotta have both hands them. for my bow. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> They can cross tails. Uh, <laughs> this is true. That Clement, is true. Clem and Lucky, uh, you're bringing up the rear. Uh, Lucky, you were still quite uh, uh, concerned about the noise you were hearing behind you. Uh, so you will frequently look back and check your six. Much to your joy slash dismay, you do not see anything. Mist and Calcifer... Uh, as you creep ever so slowly uh, down the hallway, you're pretty sure you see some movement in the hallway to the left, but it quickly disappears. <clears throat> Cautiously glance that, around that corner. Fair enough. Uh, Calcifer, what are you going to do? Uh, do the same. Cautiously look around that corner. <laughs> So you got one head up, one head down. <laughs> 11 means odd. Missed as you... Uh, you see a bulbous head followed by a bulbous body with tentacles coming out of the first bulbous head and oh. it reaches out. Eh. No. You got booped. 17 plus 4, 21. Ow. Give me a constitution save as the tentacles... Thank you, natural 20. 23. Uh, you, are, you are not paralyzed, which is probably Thank a very God. good thing for you. You are, however... How much? Uh, 6 plus 2, 8 damage as it bites your face. Ow. Oh, uh, and I think I did that wrong. I I think it gets two attacks. Anywho, I'm going um, to stab it as soon as I'm able. <laughs> everybody, roll initiative as you hear Mist shriek in pain. Twenty-one, nineteen, seven. Uh, one more time, Clum. Nine, nine. Uh, okay, Mist, you're up. Uh, yeah, um, like. Dagger real quick, and then bonus action, run the fuck away. Uh, you do know you have two people behind you, right? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> uh, dagger is going to be a uh, 20 to hit, not natural, yep. dirty. And uh, where's my D4? Uh, eight points, piercing. Fair enough. Uh, you bite me, I bite back. You try and run. Give me a. Well, nod. I just want to disengage and get away from it. Use that. I want to use my bonus action, disengage. Uh, you're going to have to move forward then. That works for me. 
Okay, fair enough. Uh, next one up is the 19. Lucky, you see some bulbous head uh, put the bite on Mist, and Mist runs away like the, I guess I've got to say it, uh, he's a tabaxi, like the pussy that he is. <laughs> so I'm running All away right. to bow range. <laughs> We're going to shoot our Eldritch Blast at the bulb. Sure. 18 hits. I'm pretty sure I can shoot it from the other side. Um, 14 damage. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Uh, nine. Clem. Uh, shit's going downhill real fast. You're muted. And that was a tremendously was awesome field. plan. That was a great oration you gave. Damn it. I missed uh, your yowling. <laughs> this one was yelling. Uh, is, is that within my field of vision, or you uh, you see him get bit in the face? Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead uh, and rule yes. Then uh, I'm I'm going to beeline uh, my best way with, of course, avoiding as much water as possible, and I will see if I can't get a a line of attack on the tentally creature. Go ahead, and I have gone out of order again, but go ahead. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, so I have 26 and 16. Both hit. All right. Fantastic. Uh, so all together. Pardon. Well, every time I roll my rapier, I roll a one. Like this is, this is, <laughs> this is, it, this is frustrating at this. Better it's at been a while it, since you had your it. stage fighting course. Oh my goodness. You're right. I should have stuck. Uh, so that is eight. Did you take the rubber Eight. cap off the end? <laughs> nice. I, uh, if you were asking me if I was using a real sword or wooden sword, I think I picked the wrong prop. You were uh, using paper mache. Uh, <laughs> the creature had a fifteen, so it will <clears throat> it will go. I will take two attacks. First one is the bite. Second is the tentacle. Uh, first one is a three. That is lucky charms. Second one is a four, so uh, let's see if I can hit. Uh, 11 plus four, 15 on Lucky. That hits. And Calcifer, 12 plus four, 16. That's that hit. So Lucky, you're going to take uh, a bite to the face. Oh, my face. Uh, four plus two, six damage. Calcifer, the tentacles just miss. Uh, now seven. Calcifer, you're up. Okay, so what is the proximity of everybody? Like, is anybody within ten feet of that creature? <laughs> I guess I, I am because I just theorized them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that. Ugh. All right. Uh, with that, I am going to fireball. 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 Exactly. <laughs> I am going to, um, yeah, Fire make somebody. a scimitar because these guys need to be at least ten feet away for what I was about to do. <laughs> so scimitar attack. Uh, would a fourteen hit it? Fourteen does hit. Okay. 13 is your magic number for this one as well. Uh, nine points, slashing damage. Nice. Top of the order, Mist. You have uh, tiptoed away and pulled your bow. Go ahead. Uh, now it's engaged with them. It is engaged with both Lucky and Calcifer. Awesome. I'm going to use my bow and my sneak attack advantage. Yep. And roll both of those d6s when I hit. Yay. Uh, okay, with advantage, so that the 18 is going to be a 24, and it's going to do 9 plus 3, 13 points of piercing damage. Got it. Uh, 19, lucky. We're going to shoot our blast. 13 plus 13 yep. hits. All right, damage is seven plus five, 12. Ouch. 
not doing so hot, but uh, now that my head is out of my ass, uh, 15 goes. Uh, who am I going after this time? Uh, Calcifer for the bite. Ooh, Clem for the paralysis on the bite. Uh, eight, so that's not going to work. Nat 20, number four, boys and girls. Oh, fuck. Wow. Clem, give me your con save. Please. I'm going to buy Frank new dice. <laughs> Pirate Dog Dice, ladies and gentlemen, at Pirate Dog Dice Twitter. Well, I got a resounding dice. You are paralyzed, and you also take four hit points of damage. I will uh, try to make the most dramatic pose possible as I am frozen. <laughs> uh, good news is, it is your turn. You may re-roll your con save oh. and break your freeze. Oh, well, in that case, uh, a seven, because uh, it's a good pose, and I want to maintain it. Madonna appreciates your patronage as you vote <laughs> your way in. Calcifer, uh, you spoke. Did I, did I bite you or did I miss you? You missed. You okay. missed. I didn't miss Clem and he is frozen like a statue. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know anything about this creature to reverse paralysis. I don't have a restoration spell. So. Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make an attack uh, <clears throat> on the creature. Okay. Uh, Scimitar. Scimitar for a 21 to hit. Hit. And a whopping six points of slashing damage. Lops off its cephalopoid head. Uh, Clem, give me another con save. 15. Uh, you come out of your catatonic state like C3. Ooh, catatonic. I think I'm going you get you got to be punny about this. Uh, so, uh, who am I? Where am I at? Uh, it's Princess Bride all over again. Uh, but <laughs> I, I have peanuts is, in my backpack. Yeah, because <laughs> and, and the holy robe. I hope uh, the creature is dead. Wait, dead or just mostly dead? Its head's gone. So okay. its head is is rolling. Not dead yet. Just a <laughs> It came from uh, the hallway to the left. Mist has moved forward and is on the stone steps. Mist, you notice that the roaring water is abundantly clear at this location. Lucky Charms, still suffering from PTSD. Keeps checking his six. Uh, give me a perception check, Lucky. 18. You are most certain... You just saw a shadow move. All right. I'll notify the rest. Hey, I think I saw a shadow back here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Scaredy cats. <laughs> That's right. As long as he doesn't pull a peck peck, we'll be all right. It's Brian Setzer's orchestra. You'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, and then I move forward into the room. To the left, uh, towards mist. So oh, towards okay. the rushing, T towards the rushing waters. Okay, uh, Clem, uh, Calcifer, uh, Lucky, Power walks past <laughs> you. I I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> so you, you got the that. zoomies. You, you have Lucky <laughs> and Mist on the stairs. Uh, Clem and Calcifer. You notice that the creature came from the left. It looks like a hallway. Hmm. Okay. Is did the others go left or are they They went straight. They went straight. Okay. Yeah, Lucky went straight. Very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Heading to mist. He, he is not a fan Protect of good, 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 good ghosts. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I I look at Clem as just like something wicked possibly this way comes. <laughs> I, Yorick. <laughs> uh, I, you know, before we leave this whole area, I would I was would like to really look at these uh, uh, 
Right. Murals? The tapestries, murals. Murals. Okay, I guess before we away, we'll pull the Ch Chevy Chase at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, guys. Nice. Uh, do you guys want to go down the hall where the carrion crawler came from? Well, I don't want to split the party. <laughs> A little late for that already. <laughs> We're just standing on the stairs, you know. Yeah. Uh, you have missed hot tin roof over there. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, arrows for things like this. I say, Clem, should we should we explore this hall? Yep. I'll just take a mental snapshot in my head, and then we'll uh, let's not split the party. Okay. So you are not going to go on the Louvre tour? No. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, Kelsey, were you were we splintering off? Or are we still? I was asking if you wanted to splinter off, call the oh, others I, I, to I, hither. Don't... I'll I'll stick with you. I'll stick with you. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna we use... hear the water up there. Okay. Can they hear me if I call them? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, sure. And, and Lucky will uh, point out that hey, the fucking shadows can hear you too. <laughs> yeah. Well. I mean, you guys are separated by twenty feet tops. Oh, okay. But um, I you mean, you did say the water sounds. Much louder from up the stairs. Right. Yeah. And I'm trying yeah, to avoid let's, the let's water. Let's not go that way then. Let's take yeah, the hallway. Let's go left. <laughs> uh, you guys go left. Clem, uh, D12 against me. All right. Six. Five. That is the fifth five in a, in a row, I think. Maybe uh, the fourth. No Arcana bonus for you. What about, what about it be history? Wah, wah. Well, doesn't matter. I still oh. beat you. <laughs> uh, you take in the uh, fractured and uh, damaged paintings. Uh, you go down the hall and you find yet another pile of rubble here. Uh, something shiny glints in it. Oh, and I must find that is. You guys are first, so you get first dibs. We'll, we'll take yeah, a I'm look. I'm back. <laughs> Lucky, in, what in are the you front, doing? people expect you to act like a tank. <laughs> what you gonna do, um, Lucky? I don't know. I don't really want to be by myself there. I need some cannon fodder in front of me. <laughs> well, you've got Mist hanging out out in the hall, the main hall. You have Clem and Calcifer down the hallway where the carrion crawler came from. Yeah, I'll hang out behind Miss. Fair enough. Waiting for the shadows to come. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the shadow knows. Uh, yeah. Clem and Calcifer, D, straight up D20s against each other. I mean, we, we can see D20. down there from here. And... Yeah, 16. 16. Where you roll? My, my bow and your magic finger thing, you work just as well from here. It goes to <laughs> 11. Frank, do you just tell me to re-roll? Yep. You guys re roll my 16? Uh... Definitely not a one. <laughs> yeah. Or like a two. Well, I got two ones, so a no, lot. It's a one. It's, it's a one. Calcifer, uh, you see a glint of what appears to be gold uh, in the rubble. Looks like a gold chain with racks atop it. Um, Who knows how long this strand of gold could be? <laughs> I, I I would just tug on that shit. Yes. Just give it the biggest yank you can. Nothing bad could happen. Happen from that. The best way to get skeletons out of a pile of rubble. <laughs> okay, well, instead of yank the clown. <laughs> well, instead of yanking the chain, can I move some of the rubble? <laughs> sure, we can okay. play rubble Jenga. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, rubble give Jenga. me a D twenty against me. Okay. Uh, 10. 12. Uh, the pile moves a little bit and obscures some of the gold. By this time, Clem, you have noticed that that rat shit bastard uh, Calcifer was holding out on you. You saw it going to gold too. I and thought now, he saw it. <laughs> now Calcifer has covered it up in stones. Oh. Bastard. What do you want to do, Clem? He's trying to hide it. For himself, right. my precious. I say kill him. <laughs> no. Um, 
and I have this in my head that he is intentionally being devious and horrible and all this. That's how it sounds to me. Oh. Um, I will just, uh, uh, you know, turn person. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's the save on it? Uh, so that'd be eight plus two, so 10, 16. I think. 16, wisdom. Uh, yes, let me verify. I believe that is. I thought it was charisma. 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 Well, but can it be charisma? It is not saying. I mean, I'm casting it with charisma, so I. Right. I just don't know if that's the the save or. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's wisdom. You're right. It's wisdom. Sorry, there you go. Okay. Looking at a different SRD. Okay. Uh, uh, 17 for a wisdom save. Uh, your charm uh, only goes so much. All right. Uh, Calcifer, well, you, you went first. Uh, do you want to try and retrieve the uh, gold chain? Uh, no. I will say, I believe I've seen a gold chain within this pile. Would you care to give it a tug? <laughs> yes, that <laughs> sounds... Great. I would but first, love. Mist and Lucky, give me perception checks. Yeah, check in that six, eh? Uh, 17. What was yours, Lucky? 13. Uh, Mist, you're pretty sure you saw a shadow, but Lucky, you're pretty sure he didn't this time. Uh, I'm going to put an arrow where I thought that shadow was. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, straight roll, 17. Sure. Uh, you hear it hit the far wall and crack. Uh, that shaft is broken. I already wrote it off. I haven't collected any of them. <laughs> Clem, uh, are you going to give it a tug? Yes. I uh, would love to. Uh, D20 against me. I'm not being dubious at all. <laughs> First nat one of the day for me. Oh. Oh, he gets it. Uh, uh, Clem, uh, you pull forth a rather lengthy chain. Roll a d10 for me, please. Nine. Much like David Copperfield, the chain just keeps coming, and it is worth 90 gold pieces. Ooh. It comes out to the end. You've wrapped it around your hand, and you've got a golden fist now. <laughs> uh, you can hear Mist and Lucky. I, I, I really don't know what the hell they're doing. I, you think they're shooting shit down the hallway? I, yeah, it's hard to tell what these ding-dongs are doing. I'll, I will make sure that I give you links later. The legend of. Uh, I mean... Uh, I was going to say because a chain is only as strong as the weakest link and we're all links together. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> you, you are the weakest link. <laughs> uh, looking through the rest of the Debris, uh, you do not see anything of value. But 90 gold pieces ain't nothing. So nope. uh, Mist and Lucky... I don't know. You're pretty sure Mist is shooting at shit, but you don't think he's hit anything. You want to fire another one? If I'll I see fire. movement, I'll drop an arrow at anything. Perception I'll try to. Sh I'll try to shoot where he shot. Sure. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh yeah, you're blasting the wall. <laughs> uh, Clem and Calcifer, you feel the wall shudder. Much like I did the other day during the no shit earthquake. Um, oh shit! Uh, so the walls shake a little bit, and you can hear Clem and Lucky arguing about something. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Uh, regroup and advance. Yeah. I'd regroup carefully before your nose gets shot off. Yeah. <laughs> As you get to the end, you've seen the Eldritch Blast tail, like a comet, go past you. You look out, you look back, you look back at the two, you look back at the empty hallway, 
you are all regrouped. Uh, the sound of the rushing river is uh, coming from the top of the stairs. The, the Russian river is coming from atop the stairs. There you go. Hey, I brought out the accent for you, Frank. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm going to be Scottish today. Fuck you, David. <laughs> <laughs> I used to live on the Russian River, man, and everybody was like, hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> um, so I'm going to join the other two and say, what you shooting at, Tex? <laughs> Shadows. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, the stairwell yeah, you, is you light enough for two people. Yeah, uh, Calcifer and Clem, you look down at the other end of the hall, you don't see shit. Um, I, I, I say to Lucky, about where do you think you saw this? <laughs> I shoot another uh, Eldritch Blast down that hallway. <laughs> Right there. Oh, I got a natural 20. Of course, on nothing. <laughs> uh, you hear a loud, sh or you feel the loud shaking and the loud crumbling, and a dust cloud comes towards you, indicative of possibly a collapsed hallway. Oh. That takes care of somebody following us. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Unless they're in front of well, it. So it seals us in. <laughs> well, at least we've got a water source. True. That's true. All right. Going up top? Let's see what's up the stairs. Who are the first two people up top? Uh, I, will, I'll, I will serve as tribute. I'll take a shift up front. Surely there's no traps this time, so I'll go first. Clem and who? Oh, hey, we don't have to go two at a time. That's true. Clem, yeah. you get to the top and you notice <laughs> faded murals and an inlaid mosaic tile floor greet you as you reach the summit. A large underground river runs along the eastern edge of the room, the far side of the room, and gives off a loud roaring sound, making it difficult for you to hear each other. The ceiling is domed and sits above the remains of a large canopy bed that has fallen in upon itself. Dirty clothing and other household items show that this was possibly a bedroom of sorts. The presence of the murals and the tiled floor would be indicative of somebody of great value here. The domed ceiling goes up 20 feet uh, and appears to be coffered. Uh, it appears as though the room was much larger, but the underground river has separated it. Uh, on the far side, you notice a small plateau followed by steps going down. Hmm. Clem surveys the situation water. and may or may not tell you. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to, as a first thing, since people are going to have a hard time hearing, I'm going to just focus on visual cues. I'm just going to scan the room for sign of movement, anything that might be lurking while the rest of the party comes up, especially around the bed, since that's kind of an oddity. You, you uh, are, 19, oh, sorry, that's saying, oh, no, no. 19. You aren't going to do the Garrett Morris from Saturday Night Live? See, I've aged, I've aged myself. Uh, boys and girls at home, look up Garrett Morris Saturday Night Live uh, School for the Deaf skit. It's well, <laughs> that, you, that's quite a while ago, right? Uh, Once yeah, I get to level two seven. spells, I can send candy grams. Nice, very that's nice. That's it. Uh, yeah, uh, Garrett Morris <laughs> School for the Deaf. I said school for the deaf. <laughs> uh, okay, as you survey around the 19, uh, you notice a trunk that appears to be uh, closed. Uh, that is going to be your primary notice. Uh, you also notice uh, what appears to be a loose flagstone. Uh, and then the platform over on the other side. Clearly, this river has sprung from an unknown source and fractured the dungeon in half. Hmm. Actually, it's fractured it in 25%, but you don't know that yet. Uh, well, I guess while the rest of the party is coming up, I'm just going to throw a rock at the trunk and just 
do the old is it mimic or is it junk routine would i do that to you guys that <laughs> of was, course you would of course you wouldn't hit, hit the mimic uh what am i adding to it uh dex six <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can I walk in just in time to see that? Sure. <laughs> and then I'll laugh at him. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's not a mimic. I'm sure it's fine if you go sit on it. I'll throw an arrow at it. Sure. Uh, 23. Oh, yeah. Dead on. Give me a perception check. Uh, 17 plus 6, 23. 17 if it matters for me watching. Yeah, that thing didn't move at all. That's a really good mimic. Excellent. Oh, I well, love this game. Mimic. You just gotta lead them more. <laughs> exactly. It's a well-disciplined mimic. Well-trained VC. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the arrow stuck in the trunk uh, just as Lucky uh, breaches the top level. Uh, you look around. Yeah, totally not a mimic. Ding dongs are throwing shit at a trunk. Uh, Man, I love this game. We're gonna bless that trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Here, go ahead. Eleven. Uh, yeah, eleven. I mean, it, it's a stupid ass trunk. Here's the thing, though. The trunk explodes. <laughs> you got no. that mimic. Roll me a percentage. Oh <laughs> shit! The, the At least line, it's not, not me. you, Dave. Not you. <laughs> the the punchline of this is that the bed was the mimic all along. <laughs> the floor. It's a trapper. Oh wait, we're doing percentage. Mm-hmm. I'll skip an arrow off the floor into the bed. Oh, <laughs> roll <Those> well. <laughs> two, two. Yeah, roll a. 10 and a, like a double zero and a two. Uh, two percent oh. of the coins uh, skitter across the floor and bloop into the water. Uh, good thing you rolled low. <laughs> so, so you lost six gold pieces. Oh. Uh, the trunk, having blown up, uh, has scattered golden coins across the floor. A dagger in a silver scabbard with a mother of pearl handle and an ivory scroll tube is perched precariously right on the edge of the river and the chamber floor. Ooh. Uh, Well, I mean, unless someone has a... You would not... How many of you have a mage hand? Otherwise, I'll just prestige that into a safe space. I don't have mage hand. So. Lucky? I Elder don't, but I... It's not I, mage I, hand. <laughs> Elder's Blast isn't mage hand? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, are you sure? <laughs> All right. Is fireball uh, mage hand? I will use prestige and go puff of air just to, to make it not fall into the river the opposite direction where it won't fall into. Sure. The cloud of dust comes up from the stairwell caused from the cave-in, and I will levitate down from the floor and try and hit Lucky Charms with my piercing tentacle grab. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Bro, bro. Oh, no. 15 plus 4, 19, as Cthulhu-esque Grell drops oh, from grell. the ceiling. Oh. Uh, give me a constitution save there, Lucky, and take 1d10 plus 2. 7 damage. All right, got a 16. Uh, you are not paralyzed. Uh, so, uh, everybody roll initiative. Hot damn. How many growl is it? One. 21. This is a BBG. Uh, 20, not natural. 14. 13. Everybody beat me. 21. We'll start with Mist. Uh, well, he's engaged with his current party, so I'm going to use my sneak attack. Yep. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. 
and well, murder hobo your magic number uh, well murder hobo has produced double sixes so that will be uh, 16 points of piercing damage because murder hobo dice are classy uh next up is the dirty 20 calcifer okay uh so is lucky like still entwined with this growl or it uh whoosh, snapped him oh okay so how many feet away is between lucky and the growl it is descended from the coffered ceiling and is right in the middle of you guys okay but we're like 10 feet away from it right <laughs> no, no. <laughs> God damn it! I can't use this ability. All right, not without hurting anybody. <laughs> I don't understand your point. <laughs> yeah, no. it's just like, and that's a problem. How? <laughs> okay, screw it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a scimitar attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my movement. Engaged. <laughs> okay. Does a uh, 12. 12 is your magic number. Okay. 13 to hit. Well, Easy to hit. Hard to kill. Okay. Uh, for nine points of slashing damage. Maybe harder than you think to kill. Uh, 14 is next. Clem. Uh, holy shit. This flying octopus just descended and smacked Lucky in the face. You can see he's got the suction cup <laughs> things on his fur. Did you say that there are one or two of these, Grell? Just one. Okay, good. Fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to say, uh, hey there, big brain. Uh, I got something for you. And I uh, will reach into my cloak and pull out three small tarts and a feather. And I uh, will juggle said tarts, casting hideous laughter. Uh, so I need it to make me wisdom saving throw. 13 plus one, 14. Ah, Everything is coming up Zoidberg. Uh, so it will collapse <laughs> to the floor, laughing, falling prone, coming incapacitated and unable to stand for the duration. Um, and uh, it'll last for up to a minute as long as I'm maintaining concentration. It gets to resave each turn, though, correct? Uh, yeah. It, no. At the end of each of its turns, each time it takes damage, yes. Okay. Uh, Lucky, you're up. Uh, it is time it prone, takes damage. So it, it, it does have advantage if it takes damage okay. on its save. Lucky, uh, it is prone, so you have advantage to hit it. I can't imagine what it sounds like laughing. It's all weak. <laughs> you know, there we go. Um, but ceaseless. I, th I think I'm going to back away from this thing and uh, ask if we have one of those lovely muffins. I'm a little hungry right now. Oh, yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll reach into out my out pocket and pull out a, <laughs> a good berry muffin for him for two <laughs> points. So uh, I just rolled normally then, correct? Since I did not take damage? Correct. Uh, no, not going to happen. Uh, missed. You're up. I am still prone. Yep. Unless a seven gets me out of that laughter. Uh. Nope. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming I can't get away with that surprise bullshit anymore. Correct. Um, but you still get to hit at advantage. Oh, at advantage. Oh, my. Let me roll this other die. Natural 20. <laughs> you hit it in its big brain. I hit it in its big brain. I hit it in its big brain for 6 and 5 is 11 plus 4 is 15 points. Got it. Uh, dirty 20, Calcifer. Okay. Uh, Thanks for that advantage. <laughs> right? Thank Clem. Uh, scimitar attack, uh, 13 to hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, this time for uh, five, slashing damage. Clem. Um, sorry, my cats are chasing each other. Uh, now... With 5e and concentration, am I able to do any other actions, or do I just have to be... Can't uh, cast another concentration spell. Correct. Okay, is that it? So I can, okay. And if you take damage or lose consciousness, etc. Et et Thank yeah. you. All right, uh, then I will uh, I'll make an attack while it's shrieking on the floor. Uh, so rapier 
stabs a stone and it's cost at advantage. Oh, great. Uh, I guess I rolled two fours, out. so. Ah, well, I'm assuming that a 14, does a 14 hit? Mm-hmm. Okay, I got a 14 and an at 20. Yep. Uh, so my rapier um, will strike and do, oh, finally, I roll an eight. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so that is 12 points of damage on that. And then you should roll twice for the dagger. Damage, damage, modifier. Damage one. Damage five. Seven. Oh, that's 18. 18 points of damage. Total or added on? Total. Okay. Got it. Uh, Lucky, you're up. All right. Uh, Since we have sufficient distance, we're going to Eldridge Blast this thing. 19. Oh, yeah. Uh, And you don't don't have sufficient distance. You guys are surrounding it. Yeah. I just stepped in Uh, front and started stabbing it because it's shrieking. Well, Eldridge Blast works. Well, I was mainly wanting when it attacks that it's going to attack somebody else. (laughs) Sure. No, it's Um, fine. uh, 12 points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, D12 against me, though. Oh. Oh. Uh, And since I I stabbed. (laughs) 12. The floor does not tilt into the river, sending you guys in. Uh, It is uh, my turn. The the creature before that, the creature should have rolled to see at advantage to see if it could break. Well, now it's his turn. So then okay. gets I was just trying to be fair. Oh, no, I appreciate that. Uh, ooh, 15? Best. 15? Yeah, that's the 15 best 15 breaks it. Okay. Uh, it breaks free, and now it is angry. Hangry. It's standing up from prone. Yep. Uh, it levitates up from prone. Mi- uh, Mist, you're up. Oh, so it doesn't invoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 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 it's going to be the straight attack, I guess. Here we go. Oh, shit. Not one. Yeah! D4, bitches. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's a three. Oh, yeah. Lucky Charms takes it in the Lucky Charms. <laughs> um, it'll, be, it'll be three points of damage when it's halved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about it. Here, have another muffin. <laughs> Thirty twenty, you're up, Calcifer. Fuck. Okay. Next sheet tech. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, gonna make another uh, scimitar attack. Uh, uh, miss. Cleaning my blade. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Twelve misses. Uh, and it's no longer an advantage. So, uh, you see that? It's got a short sword. Clem, you're up. Uh, how badly it, and how bad does it look so far? Uh, it looks like it's been fighting with Mike Tyson. I... Um, I'll cast sleep since it's a... Uh, re- doesn't have much hit points left. Um, Correct. So it needs to make me. Uh, sorry, I got to roll my 5d8. Hold up. 5d8. Hold up. 21 hit points. Yeah, it's going to go to sleep. Ah! Uh, lucky. Uh, you're pretty sure that time Miss did it on purpose. <laughs> well, while no. it's down, uh, no, 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 no. Lucky, Lucky's up. Oh, okay. Go to girl, to girl. Go for the brain. It's mostly a brain. Uh, brain. Go for the mist. It's mostly feline. <laughs> Does it, uh, if we attack it, doesn't it wake up from the sleep? That's why you got a coup de gras. It will. Go for the medulla oblongata. It's prone, uh, so you're an advantage to hit it. All right, we're gonna Eldridge blast it. Fifth. Oh wait, I get to roll again. Ice pick to the frontal lobe. 
So I'm pretty sure I hit it with a 20. Yep. Oh, yeah. You blasted the shit out of it. Uh -oh. <laughs> 11. He's holding the another die. bath. D12 against me again. Oh, son of a bitch. Nine. You, I got a four. The entire floor shifts as the Eldritch Blast destroys the Grell. Everything goes tilting in, including the treasure, the uh, scroll case, the dagger, the coins, oh. the mist, the clam, the calcifer, the lucky charm. You four roll a dex or you're going into the drink. Oh, <laughs> oh right. thank you. Let's see how many more natural ones we roll. I get a 23. 17. Oh, 14. 17. Seven. Everybody grabs for the cobblestones, but you see Clem. <laughs> <laughs> Splash. Clem Told him not to get that manicure. The water is very cold, so you probably won't feel your icy death. D12 against me to see if you can survive the log ride at Frank's Disneyland. I hate Mondays. Three. Four. You do not. <laughs> at, Grab the scroll! At some point in time, your skull hits a rock. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. And not how York fell. And not rocks fall, everybody dies, but... And, and much like Will Ferrell... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping for an exit pursued by a bear. Uh, well, the good, well, you'll be eaten by bears once you're washed out into the that'll, water. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> but only from the groin up, <laughs> as you almost regain consciousness. Uh, good news, guys. The only one that I think got treasure uh, was Clem, who's still wearing it, and Mist who never checked the Batman belt pouch for the plus one, uh, or I'm sorry, the potion of healing oh. uh, and 45 gold pieces. Everything else got washed away with uh, pew, 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 Mr. Eldridge Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Ricochet <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> That's right. Uh, David, what'd you think? I thought it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I couldn't use any of uh, the, the ability that I wanted because in a dungeon, you're not going to get enough clearance. Too close. Yeah, uh, so, summon wild spear, uh, wildfire spirit and anything within 10 feet of it when you summon it has to do a deck save. So. See, you could have done it. <laughs> there, there, I don't know why you couldn't have. Yeah, I'm you know, funny dexterous. If you fail, it's 2d6 fire damage. <laughs> Still not seeing the problem. Jeff, what'd you think? I like it. third appearance, by the way. Yeah, third. There you go, man. I know. Yep, I liked it. I I was thinking we were going to do more of a uh, in-town adventure, so I had stuff uh, to d deal with that as opposed to actually d dungeon diving. So. Oh, same good. Here. I <laughs> fucked you over again. You got us good. <laughs> man, I was the same way. Everything I had was like outdoorsy AOE shit. I don't know. It said dungeon right crawl right in the description. You guys just I did not that. get the description. Did uh, not get it. Well, you, you know, Jeff, one of these times you're going to guess right and really just fuck me over horribly. Uh, Ian, what'd you think? You know, I probably shouldn't take a bar to dungeons. I had all these uh, social machinations just in case. Uh, so my disguised self and uh, too bad I didn't get to charm Calcifer into digging all that chain out for me. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? The Tasha's hideous laughter and the sleep saved your asses. It did. Uh, no, it's not me. Because <laughs> the Grell gets two attacks uh, and it is a handful. It's so. a nasty attack. Yeah. Uh, Rob, what'd you think? I had a lot of fun. Basic dungeon crawl. We were we were missing a tank. Yeah, yeah. I I noticed that when you guys sent me your PCs, I'm like, so did I. Oh, That's yeah. why I said it's gonna I, be chaos. I I almost made a fighter, but then I thought, you know what? There's always some weird social element in some of these adventures. So I need to I need to start playing a champion fighter. We're negotiating <laughs> with that grill. Next time we play, it's gonna be a group of just fighters. Yeah, nothing but champion <laughs> fighters. And that's gonna be excellent because you guys will be researching a murder in an abbey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just to really oh. hose you guys bad. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo. Is that the name of the Azela? 
It may be. I mean, I've got my pen right here, and I've only written two this month. So. <laughs> the uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to uh, do what these guys did and play on a one-shot or uh, appear on the Tuesday talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, and when you hit three times like Jeff did, uh, you get some swag. So, Jeff, make sure you email me your mailing address so that I can send it to Publishers Clearinghouse. Uh, if you want to uh, buy some really cool stuff, try Odd Fish Games, maker of Adventure Sense, maker of the Shine System, and uh, maker of the soon to be released Kickstarter for How to RPG with Your Cat. I personally have played it and had a good time with it. Uh, also, if you want to have kick ass dice, that roll really well uh, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Hit them up. They make custom dice. Eh, not all the time, but, you know, if they find a project like yours, which I'm sure is awesome, uh, they might, you know, help you out. Uh, and what was that other thing? Uh, I almost never oh. mentioned it. Uh, MurderHoboCon.com. That's it. August you mean at Con Hobo? Yes, at Con Hobo is the Twitter account. And I don't know who controls that, but that son of a bitch does an awesome job. Uh, MurderHoboCon.com, August 1st, one-day event. It's a Sunday. It's going to be hot. Keep your ass inside. Turn the AC on. Drop your pants. Keep your camera pointed up. Everything will be fine. It's not like you're a congressman wearing a freaking Captain America shirt, jackass. Uh, DM, GM, panelists, seminars. Uh, those submissions are now open. You can buy your badge. You cannot sign up for tickets until next week. Uh, it is in a virtual world, and it is for charity, American Cancer Society. I'm not shitting you. It's going to be freaking cool. MurderHoboCon.com. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, dating game Kiss and Wave, boys and girls. Mwah! See you maybe tomorrow. <laughs>